Hello everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland living in the Netherlands. In this video, I'll be answering your questions. So a few weeks ago, I reached 2000 subscribers here on this channel, which I am super grateful for. And as a bit of a celebration for this milestone, I decided to do this Q&A video as quite a few of you guys had requested it. So I asked you to send in some questions both here on YouTube and Instagram. And honestly, I was a little bit scared that there wouldn't be any questions or only like three questions and then it would be a bit awkward. But no, you guys sent me actually quite a lot of questions and yeah, let's get into it. So the first question. Why did you move to the Netherlands? I would say there was two main reasons why I moved to the Netherlands. The first one is that I have a Dutch boyfriend and we used to be in like a long distance relationship which actually worked just fine but then the pandemic hit and actually for the first wave he got stuck in Finland with me and lived in Finland basically for three months. That kind of gave us the idea that hey living together is quite nice and fun and works well. So we started thinking about like officially moving in together. We were also a bit scared that what if there will be a second wave, which there was. We were thinking, is it better for him to move to Finland or for me to move to the Netherlands? Eventually we came to the conclusion that work-wise it was easier for me to find work here than for him to find work in Finland. So that's why we decided that I'll be moving to the Netherlands. The second reason was that I honestly just wanted to. I feel like even if I wouldn't have been in a relationship I would have probably been moving to another country. I just felt like that was something I really wanted to do. Netherlands was definitely one of my top picks. I'm not sure if I would have picked that or maybe something else. I don't know, it's hard to tell, but so far I am very happy living here. The second question, how difficult was it to find work when you moved to the Netherlands? Hmm, honestly, I don't think it was that hard. I started looking for a job around June and already in the end of August, my job that I got started. So in the end, it all ended up happening pretty quickly. I was quite happy that I was able to find a job so fast. And what made it a bit more tricky was that it was the pandemic. So I needed to find a job that I could do from home because like working in a restaurant or something, was a bit too risky. Yeah, I was able to do that and I'm still working there at that same place. So it all ended up working out quite well. What is your favorite place in the Netherlands? Well, I live in the city of Leiden. So obviously I've seen this city the most. So currently I would say that Leiden is definitely my favorite city, but there are definitely a lot of other cities that I really like. What is your favorite thing about Leiden? Well, Leiden is a very cute city. It's very charming, very idyllic. I love living here. It's a bit smaller, so everything is within a walkable distance or bikeable distance, which I really like. And also like the geographical position of Leiden is really great because within 10 minutes I can get Get to the Hague within 15 20 minutes you can get to the beach and within like 35 minutes you can also get to Amsterdam or Rotterdam it is very centrally located and light in itself it's just very very beautiful and there's also a really nice atmosphere here in Leiden a bunch of nice little restaurants and cafes and also for someone who likes photography like me it is kind of perfect if you could pick anywhere in the Netherlands where to live, if job or money wouldn't matter, would you still pick Leiden? Well, I do really love Leiden, but there are some other places where I could also think about living. For example, Utrecht, I wouldn't mind living there. Or in The Hague, there are some very nice areas as well. If money really didn't matter and we could live anywhere and we would be super, super rich, there are some quite nice neighborhoods around Leiden, for example. There's Wassenaar, Warmond, Oostgeest. I've driven past these areas a few times and this is where people have like proper mansions and stuff. So yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind living there either. What are some foods to try when visiting the Netherlands and the best places where to get them? If coming to the Netherlands, you should definitely try some stroke waffles, the big Dutch pancakes and also the small 
Dutch poffertje pancakes. Go at least once to Fabo, which is this like snack bar thing where you can buy snacks from like this vending machine in the wall. And I know it's not for everyone and it's nothing fancy, but you should give it a go at least once. Also the fish here is apparently pretty good. Okay, so seems like I forgot to mention a few things, but you also shouldn't miss out on the Dutch cheese and the Dutch apple pie is also very, very good. Those are some things that you should try. And I would say the best places where to do so is usually at the markets. So usually most cities have markets. Here in Leiden, we have markets on Saturdays and Wednesdays. Um, it might vary a bit from city to city on which days they are on, but I would say that that's the best place where to get some authentic Dutch food to try. Although for the big pancakes, you should go to a pannekoeku, so like a pancake house to try that. If you could recommend only one place to visit in the Netherlands, what would it be? Ooh, this is honestly a very, very difficult question. To be fair, Amsterdam is a very touristic spot, but at the same time, there is quite a lot to do and see in Amsterdam. Like you can easily spend several days there. For that reason, Amsterdam is quite a good option, but I wouldn't say Amsterdam is my favorite city in the Netherlands. Then again, if you could only visit one place, I'm not sure if I would recommend coming to Leiden because it's quite small. So it's maybe not as exciting so maybe some city like the hague as it's quite a big city it's a political capital they also have like an old town area and yeah there's quite a lot to do in the hague as well the netherlands is quite a small country to visit and it is easy to travel around here so i would definitely recommend visiting more than just one spot do you speak Dutch? Ik kan een beetje Nederlands spreken. So I speak a little bit of Dutch. I get along like in a restaurant. I can order my drinks and food. I can read the menu. I can shop online. <laughs> so I have all the essential skills for surviving. One of my proudest moments was when I went to a restaurant with some Finnish friends who were visiting. I was trying to speak a little bit of Dutch and the way Tris actually brought my friends English menus and she brought me a Dutch menu and she kept speaking Dutch with me the whole evening and usually here in the Netherlands if they hear an accent or if they realize you're not actually Dutch or Dutch speaking they will switch to English which is a little bit annoying making it a bit difficult to learn but she didn't and I am hoping it is because she thought my Dutch was good enough but I don't know maybe she was just being polite do you plan to live in the Netherlands permanently, move back to Finland or somewhere else? Honestly, right now, I don't know. The plan is to eventually settle down in the Netherlands, I think. But before doing that, I still want to travel for a bit longer periods of time. I would maybe like to still live in some other countries too, maybe for a year or something. It is still a bit of a question mark. At least I am not very keen on the idea of moving back to Finland, even though I love my home country. I don't know, I just feel like a life as an expat and abroad is something that suits me better. But never say never, you never know where life takes you. But I definitely see it as a possibility to settle down in the Netherlands. Hello, I will be visiting Amsterdam the last week of August and a few days in early September. Can you share some tips on what types of outfits to pack for the weather? Are people usually wearing shorts slash skirts or will it be too cold? This is a question <laughs> that is impossible to answer because the Dutch weather is very, very unpredictable. Currently, it is the beginning of August when I am filming this video. For the past few weeks, the weather here in the Netherlands has been quite even right now it is raining outside and a very gray day and it's been like maybe 18 degrees it hasn't been very warm lately it has honestly felt kind of like autumn but usually this is the prime summertime usually that time of the year is still more the summertime so usually the weather is quite good but yeah as said, the weather should be quite good right now. Pack both sunglasses and an umbrella because you will most likely need them both. 
from all the countries that you have visited so far, which one would you choose to live in if you had to? Hmm, I don't know, like I think living permanently and living somewhere for a while are two very different things. Like for example, I used to live in Bali for six months and I really loved it and I would love to maybe live there another six months. I've also lived in Australia, which was lovely. I could see myself living there for a few years, but I don't think I would like to settle down in a place like Australia or New Zealand because I feel like it's very isolated from the rest of the world and so, so far away. So I do think eventually when I settle down, it will be somewhere in Europe. I would also like to live for a little bit of time, maybe in like Japan or Korea. I could also maybe live for a while in the US. Yeah, I want to live a bit here and there and travel here and there, but where to live permanently i don't know only time will tell where we end up what has been your favorite and least favorite places that you've traveled to this is a very difficult question i would say probably my favorite place i've traveled to is probably indonesia i really love it there it is so beautiful the people are so friendly there's so much to see and do the nature is just absolutely stunning and just like the vibes and atmosphere in general and as for the place that i have liked the least i I would say Sihanoukville in Cambodia. So Sihanoukville used to be this little beach town in Cambodia and it used to be apparently very very beautiful and like a backpacker's paradise but these days these Chinese casinos have taken over. It, it was the ugliest place I've ever been to. There was garbage everywhere. People were clearly not doing very well there. It was just a very bizarre experience to be in a place where everyone was quite poor but then there was a bunch of big casinos that didn't fit the scenery or place at all didn't feel very safe to walk around and the air quality was really bad unfortunately that's the city you kind of have to go through in order to get to the beautiful islands along the coast of Cambodia that was definitely the worst place that I've ever visited what is your next destination my next destination is that me and my boyfriend are doing this two-week trip to some Balkan countries our first destination will be Dubrovnik in Croatia actually by the time that you guys will be seeing this video I will already be on that trip if you want to see more up-to-date content I would suggest that you check out my Instagram account as there I'll be posting a bunch of photos and stories from our trip to the Balkans and of course there will very soon be a lot of travel vlogs coming to this channel as well so Please look forward to that. Where do you want to travel in the future? Hmm, I think the question should rather be where do I not want to travel in the future because I want to visit so many places. I have even made this list of places where I want to visit on my Notion and yeah, it is a long list. Let's see how realistic it is for me to actually visit all those places. A person can dream and hopefully I'll be able to visit as many places as possible. Tell us about your boyfriend who we see in the background a lot. What's his name? My boyfriend's name is Ruhl. He is Dutch and he's a historian. The reason why he's not super visible on this channel is because he's just not such a social media person. He doesn't have Instagram, he doesn't have Facebook. So yeah, no need to try and stalk him because you won't find him anywhere. He is very supportive of my channel and he's always helping me with my videos and watching my videos, but he's just not such a fan of being on camera or on social media super much. I do post some pictures of us once in a while on Instagram. Let's see, maybe someday in the future he could come and introduce himself on camera. We'll see. How did you and your boyfriend meet? We actually met while both solo traveling in Sweden and we met in a hostel. So we were in the same hostel room. First thing that he ever said to me was good morning and that's where it started. First, we became really good friends. After the trip, we still stayed in contact and we were texting each other quite a lot. And then eventually we decided that we want to meet up again. So basically our first date was a trip to Krakow, 
Poland together. The rest is history. It's a weird thing that because I once went to Sweden by myself, I am now living in the Netherlands, basically. It is weird and wonderful how life works out sometimes. We have seen your mother in the vlogs, but not your father. Well, my mother lives in Finland, so you've seen her when I've gone to Finland and visit, and we've also done some trips together when I have been filming. But the thing is that my father actually lives in Switzerland. So usually if I go to Finland, unless he's visiting Finland at the same time, I'm not necessarily meeting up with him. For example, now in the summertime when I went to Finland, he wasn't there. My father is actually coming to visit us here in the Netherlands in the beginning of October. Over. So maybe then my father will also make an appearance on one of my videos. Do you make friendships easily? Relatively easily. I'm quite social and up for meeting new people, but I would say it takes me a little bit of time before I'm like completely comfortable with someone. So maybe in the beginning I might be a bit more quiet or a bit less myself. Yeah, I would say I make friendships relatively easily. Do you have close friends in the Netherlands or just Finland? I have been lucky enough to also find some close friends here in the Netherlands. It took me a while before I was able to find friends because when I moved it was the pandemic and everything was closed and it was impossible to meet anyone new but these days I have found a bunch of friends which I am super grateful for and I am sure these friendships will last for a long time, hopefully a lifetime. I also obviously have a lot of good friendships also back in Finland. Are you a YouTuber or is it just a hobby or do you you have a normal job as well. I am not just a YouTuber. Uh, I wouldn't say it's just a hobby though. Like I do make a bit of a side income with this, which I am super, super grateful for, but I do have like a normal job as well. Definitely my most asked question was about my job, that what is my job, what do I do for a living and so on. So basically what I do is that I work with social media, for an online retail company. I'm not gonna say the company name because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. I don't know, I don't wanna take any risks. But yeah, that's what I do. And I also work full-time from home. Fun fact, I have actually never ever been to our office. And yes, I do work full-time. So I work 40 hours a week, as someone asked that as well. How much time do you spend on making videos? I would say quite a lot of time but luckily I love it and a lot of my free time I spend traveling and I have a travel YouTube channel so it kind of goes hand in hand but yeah I don't know exactly how much time I spend on it but a lot. What is your equipment for your vlogs? So I mainly film with my Sony ZV-1 camera. I edit with this HP NV laptop. I also sometimes take some clips with my phone if I'm feeling more awkward to whip out the camera. I also have like a big photography camera, a Nikon D750, but I quite rarely film any clips on it. I am planning on soon to also buy an action camera, but mostly what I use is my Sony ZV-1, which has been a great vlogging camera, I must say. What schools have you finished so far? I have a bachelor's degree in tourism and hospitality. How do you stay motivated with projects and things that you start with? I have honestly always been a bit the kind of person that loves to start new projects and ideas, but I have a bit more trouble when it comes to actually then keeping to those promises and projects and seeing them through. But I do think it's also something I have gotten better at within the last few years. I would say what helps me personally is remembering the why. Why did I start in the beginning? What's my goal? Why am I doing this? I have also just learned that staying consistent is worth it. Even when you're working on something, when you're feeling unmotivated, usually the motivation will eventually pick up and you will see like down the line that, oh wow, I'm so happy I stuck to this, that I didn't stop. Just comes down to discipline and pushing yourself and doing things also sometimes when you feel like not doing it. Do Finnish people have a good humor like you in general? I don't know 
know if you who asked this question meant humor as in funny humor or as in is in a good humor so is like happy and positive i would say yes and no i think the finnish people in general are a bit hard to read maybe it's quite usual that we don't show a lot of expressions well i'm not like that but finland has been now for many years in a row chosen as the happiest country in the world but i would say the happiness is not like oh my god i'm so happy it's more like feeling content and good with your life and like yeah a content kind of happiness not the outbursting kind i don't know if you get at all what i mean i'm not sure if i answered your question but i hope so do you like the finnish educational system i think the educational system in finland is good i like the fact that school start a bit later for children so in finland you don't start school until the year of when you turn seven the finnish kids also get 10 weeks of summer vacation which is really nice I, I think it's a good system. What's the most useful lesson that you have learned from living abroad? This is a very broad and difficult question. I think I kind of answer it in another video that I filmed. I'll link it up here where I talk about the reality about moving abroad. But I would say like gaining self-confidence. I know that I manage. I, you know, I can get through issues and problems even when in a foreign country. Also, a certain kind of independence. I've learned to enjoy my own company on a whole other level. Maybe those two things I would say are the, they're at least the things that first pop into my mind. So maybe that. Okay, I think this video is starting to be pretty long, but luckily we are down to the last question. Thank you for anyone who has stuck through the video until now. Last question is, what is your goal in life? Well, this was a very deep, question. I would say my goal in life is to live life to the fullest. Try to do, experience, feel, taste as much as possible in this world. That wraps up this little Q&A session. I hope I was able to answer all of your questions. If I missed out on answering your question, please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to answer it on some other video instead. Thank you so much for everyone who sent in some questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye.